Hey up! Are you thinking about working for Interact in Japan? You might want to stick around for this one. Oh. Konnichiwa everyone! My name's Dan and cheers for finding my video today. I appreciate that! If you're new around here, do me a favour, hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my videos about life in Japan and working in Japan and Japan in, in general. But today's video is all about a little company called Interact. So, if you're watching this video, chances are you are thinking about working for Interact. You've had a little Google and you've seen my pretty little face and you've clicked my video, so cheers for that. But you've also probably seen all bad stuff that people have written online about Interact and you don't know what to think. So I'm here today to give my honest opinion and my time at Interact and basically the good points, the bad points, and all stuff in between and everything you need to know before you decide to sign that contract. First up, who are Interact? I don't know. Do you know? Probably not. That's why you're here. I actually do know. That's why I'm going to tell you. But Interact is one of Japan's biggest dispatch companies for ALTs. And ALT stands for... Assistant Language Teacher. Let's go with that. I don't really know what it means. And I'm a one of them and I still don't know what it means. Basically, Interact is one of the biggest companies in Japan for hiring gaijin teachers and sending them out to public schools. So that's going to be like kindergarten, sometimes elementary, junior high, sometimes high school. And they have contracts with all different board of educations. And they've got them contracts all over the country. Not literally everywhere, but they've got a lot of contracts all over the country. So you could find yourself, you know, Tokyo, Osaka, Hokkaido, I don't know. Loads of places. And that's basically what they do. They are like the middleman between the board of education and the foreign teachers. And yeah, that's basically their stuff. And that's what they get that Skrilla for. But what does that mean to you? Before we get into what it means to you, let's talk about what it meant to me. Because I worked there for one and a half year and I've recently finished with him. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tell you a bit about my history with that company and how it worked for me. But first up, it was a little different for me because I were already in Japan when I applied to work for him. I worked for a company called Nova. You might have also heard of if you're looking for jobs in Japan. If you are thinking about Nova, up here, there's a video, description, there's a video. Check that one out and all. But this video is about Interact, so don't worry too much about Nova. Anyway, I was working for Nova, and while I was in Japan, I applied for Interact. And the application process were a bit weird. I applied, and then I had to obviously send me CV and all that stuff, because it's Japan and they like paperwork. And I also had to make a video uh, doing a demo lesson and talking about myself and reading out a statement about company like some propaganda thing. That video is actually on my Patreon as an exclusive. I'm not putting it on here because it's way too embarrassing, but I made that video. Um, so yeah, I applied in Japan. I know they do do overseas recruitment and they do overseas like demo lessons and stuff, so don't let it put you off if you're not in Japan like I am, but it's something to think about. So yeah, I applied in Japan. Over a year and a half, I worked in two different border educations. I worked in Sakai City, South Osaka, and I worked in Higashi Osaka, which is like East Osaka. And yeah, I worked in junior high schools in Sakai, and I also worked in elementary schools in Higashi Osaka. So I got kind of a wide range of stuff. And there were some good things and some bad things, and some stuff that were just like, meh, I don't care. But that's the next part of this video, so let's move on to some good points. First good point to talk about that's proper important, especially if you've come from a Kiowa work, is weekends free. Saturday and Sunday, no work. Can you believe such a thing is even real? I haven't done that since I was about 16 when I didn't have a job. Like, I mean, weekends free is unbelievable, and that were a big perk of that job. And you get loads of holidays, like it's a school. You know, like two weeks at Christmas, Golden Week, six weeks in summer and yeah just like time off all time and even when you are working sometimes you weren't really working like a couple of times when i was in sakai i went to work and they were like oh it's exam day today you ain't got no to do you may as well go home so i went back home at 10 o'clock that happened sometimes and they were like we won't tell you company don't worry because that school were proper sick they were proper awesome and some kids from that school watch this video so cheers for that so sometimes they just send me home and i could just go and chill so that were pretty good. Um, Interact also, on most contracts, provides Shakai Hoka, which is like the healthcare and the pension. They pay 50%, you pay 50%, and you don't have to worry. It just comes straight out of your wages. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Interact also provides some training. 
So training's actually better than most companies I've worked for. It was like a week intensive and they showed you how to like prepare a lesson and how to do bits and bobs. So that weren't terrible at all. Uh, it was a bit like a propaganda meeting, like yay. But there were some skills I took from it and I thought that were pretty good. Uh, they also provide materials online. They've got a load of materials that you can download, like pre-made lesson plans and flashcards and all that kind of stuff to help you, especially when you're trying to hit ground running and that. It's pretty good to have them things. And generally, they leave you alone. Like, I, when I worked for Nova, you're constantly dealing with management. Yeah, like, they, I went months without hearing out from them. And that was good for me. I don't like people bothering me. Just leave me alone to do my job. And I'm happy at that. If I need you, I'll give you a shout. If I've done something wrong, give me a shout. Other than that, see you later. I don't care. So, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Too much Phoenix Knights, I reckon. Anyway, and other cool thing about that job is that kids are funny, man. Like, <laughs> working in a Japanese school, kids are funny. They're weird, but they do some funny stuff. Uh, junior high, kids were proper cool. Um, have a laugh with them and that. And... At first I was like a bit cold, like I'd never worked in a public school before and I thought when I were at school I were a dick so I got loads of karma coming but actually it were alright, just tried to have a laugh with kids and don't force them to learn, let them learn if they want to learn and if they want to sleep in your class let them, like whatever, like no point fating with them about it, just let them do their thing. So yeah, junior high school kids other than the fact they've got a lot of stress, like first years are funny because they're still basically kids and they just want to play games. Second year, they've hit that perfect point when they're like, nah, fuck everything, I can't be arsed with this. And third years, they just got bare stress, like exams and going into high school and that, so they're a bit stressed. But first years are funny. Elementary school's a different kettle of fish. Like, man, them kids are weird. <laughs> little, like, youngest ones to, like, first grade, they're like little babies still, they don't really know what's going on, and they ask some mad questions. Um, and they're happy if they can say hello, you know. Um, second grade, get in there, they start to work it out, but four, five, and six are your bread and butter, you know. And basically just play games and have a laugh with them and make fun of them. Basically, that's what I used to do. And I enjoyed it. Elementary school is a lot of game-based learning, so they don't realise they're learning, because if you're like, yay, let's study English, they're like, nah, mate. Or if you're like, let's play this game, they're like, alright, sick, I like games. So, you know, we got a horses for courses and all that. So yeah, kids are pretty cool too. Uh, any other good points? They pay your transport, so that were good. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard for a company. But there's a few bad points and all, so let's have a chat about them. So this is what you're really here to see, the bad stuff. Because, you know, that's what people are worried about. You don't care about good stuff, you're worried about what can go wrong. And I got you, so let's talk about bad points. Earlier I was like, you get weekends free. That's sick, but what I didn't mention is that salary for this job is not good at all. About 210,000 yen a month, minus your pension and your healthcare. So it's pretty much on the low side, and that can be hard work. So even though you've got weekends free, you better get looking for a part-time job, mate, and to top up so you can pay your bills on that. So that's kind of shit. And I don't really care about you having a part-time job as long as it doesn't interfere. But yeah, you, you're going to struggle to survive alone on that salary. Even more so is that some months you just don't get paid because you didn't work. Like end of March, beginning of April is in between contracts. You're not getting paid for them four weeks that you need to go to work. Same as at Christmas and of at summer holidays, there's going to be times where you don't get paid. And that's hard work. It's changed now. I think they've kind of flattened the salary so you kind of get some at every month but it's still not getting paid full every month you know what i'm saying so yeah get a part-time job you're gonna need that um other stuff this is kind of weird in my first school i were really welcomed in my other schools i weren't and they kind of didn't want me in one of the problems is the teachers the japanese teachers have got their way they want to do it that way and I'm kind of saying, bit of a control freak, so I want to do it my way. So, one of two things happened. Either I led class as T1, like teacher one, and other teachers just did what they wanted and left me alone, which meant that I was basically the teacher, not an assistant. Which is good for me, because I like to do that thing, but for some people they don't like that. Or, I were T2, 
and teacher basically used me as a human tape recorder. We're like, oh, let's learn this word. It's elementary. Let's hear it from a native teacher. Dan? Elementary. Good job, Dan. <laughs> and that's how it went down. I was just basically a glorified tape recorder in some schools. So that's a bit demoralizing for some people. It's an easy paycheck if you just want to sit in a classroom and repeat words. That's cool. But for me, I, I don't really like that. So that were a bit annoying. Also, it's lonely. When you work in an Ikaiwa, you, other native speakers are around. You know, you're dealing with students all the time. When you're in a school, like, everyone's busy. They haven't got time to shit and chat with you. And even if they have, they probably don't speak English at all. Like, I could get away with speaking to people in Japanese, but, you know, most of them, they're busy, you know. Especially in elementary school, they've got lessons to plan and kids to look after. They haven't got time to sit and chat with me, so it gets a bit lonely sat in an office waiting for your class. Because in a week... At most, you're going to teach five classes a day, and that's a busy schedule. A lot of people are a lot less than that. So, you've got downtime, and I suggest learning Japanese in that downtime. Use that time to study. Don't just be sitting watching Netflix on your phone, because they'll complain to interact. Read a book, study Japanese, do something productive, plan a lesson. But you're going to have some downtime, and that downtime gets a bit lonely, to be honest with you. There's no one around to have a chat with, so that kind of sucks. Uh, what else is a bad thing? Ah, because the school don't really know how to deal with it. Basically, Board of Education, government says you need English native speakers. So Board of Education sorts it out and sends a teacher to that school. That school hasn't got a say in it. And honestly, some schools don't want you there. They're like, we don't know what to do here. Just do what you're doing. Just leave us alone. So you're not really part of school. And sometimes that manifests in weird ways, like... When everyone at school gets a new tablet computer to do their work, except for you. So you've got no computer. And they're like, too bad, mate. So I said earlier, Interact provide you all these materials and stuff. A lot of schools don't give you a computer and you're not allowed to access internet. So what I ended up doing was taking my own laptop and, you know, a WiMAX, one of these things, so I could connect to internet and doing my work that way. Because the school, I got nothing from it. No facilities. I got some, a copy of textbooks is basically what I got in some schools. And they're like, good luck, mate. Do your thing. So that's a bit annoying. And I, I ain't planning work at home. I've got things to do. I'm not getting paid to do it at home. So that's a thing. Um, what else? Especially in elementary school. Learn to not get groped by kids. <laughs> mate, they're mad for groping. Especially if you're fat like me. They'll push your belly. They're not bothered. They've got no sort of internal thing telling them that that's not socially acceptable yet. So they'll do things like, let's play sumo and pat your belly a few times, or, you know, in the old buttocks, uh, they'll do that and all. So yeah, watch out for kids groping you. I, I've got a feeling if you're a woman, they'll leave you alone a bit more, but if you're a bit friendly with them like I am, yeah, I got groped a lot. That's all you need to know. Um, what else? Renewal is a ball like when one contract comes to an end you've got no guarantee you're going to be in the same place so my contract came to an end in Sakai and Interact actually lost that contract with Board of Education to a different company so I had to move sent me an email like where do you want to work so like, Osaka next minute got an email oh you're going to Akashi mate I just moved from Akashi to come here I'm not going back there like yeah but it's less money hang on what you want me to go back for less money yeah and we won't pay your transport it's too far how about Fuck off. I ain't doing that. So that were annoying. A lot of stress. Um, not knowing because they do everything last minute and all. And in the end, I was like, no, I quit. And they were like, oh, all right, then why don't you just work in Osaka? I asked for Osaka. Why don't you just give me that shit? So, yeah, renewal is a ball ache. I've got a feeling if you're in a steady border education, you'd keep your contract, maybe a different school. But that were really annoying part for me. And some of, the, some of you might need to know about is they do the drug testing once a year and it's like a thing you put under your tongue and it lithium or some shit shows up if you're smashing the old drugs and of course I'm a good boy and never never ever ever did anything like that but you know I'm in Japan so I'm already not doing that but if you're coming from overseas might be something to think about uh, maybe don't have that last joint before you get on plane uh, something to, to think about 
um, they always say it's like, oh, it's not mandatory. Uh, we just do it to make sure that everyone knows we're a good company, but it, it's kind of mandatory. So um, I was worried about that, even though, like I said, I got no to worry about. But, you know, it's a thing under your tongue and you leave it there for 10 minutes and, yeah, you do that. It's usually part of basic training. And then once every year when your contracts are due to renew, they do it again. And, yeah, the, that's something to be aware of. So, yeah, quite a few bad points. But in conclusion, we've got some good points. We've got some not so good points. But would I actually recommend working there? That is the question, isn't it? If you get a good board of education and you can find a decent part-time job on a Saturday, yeah, it's good. You know, you finish work at five o'clock, you can go home. You have to get up pretty early to get there sometimes, but you finish work at five o'clock, parts of your day are gonna be free. So that's cool. And you know, if you can get a decent part-time job on a Saturday to keep your salary up, it's not a bad job. It's not a bad job at all. It's not a career. Like there's no point staying there a long time. It's not terrible, it's a bit lonely. You need some, you need some friends or some to hang out with. Like, if you're in area you're working, you can hang out with other teachers from different schools and stuff. Like, speaking of which, what's up, Jamil? Uh, one of my homies from Higashi Osaka. And yeah, if you can do that, it's good. One thing I'll mention as well, they also do like company apartments, like Leo Palace, same as Nova. Don't stay in them too long. If you can, get out and find a better apartment. They're all right, but they'll overcharge you for it. Overall, not a bad company. It gets a bad rep online. Um, you know, I've seen Glassdoor too. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. And I think probably it's better than AKI will work. But in either case, it's not for long term. So think about that. But yeah, that's it. That's my honest opinion of Interact. And I hope this helps you. If you are applying for Interact, let me know in comments below if you are and how you get on. I'd like to hear that. But for today, that's it. So, as always, until next time, Jamata! That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below and bang a thumbs up on this video. While you're at it, you may as well smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. And there's plenty more videos like this one. There's one here and one here. Maybe you'll see something you like. Only videos are supported by the Jadan fam on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And as always, until next time. Jamata.